Have you ever designed something that you thought was a good idea until a certain type of environment made you realize that it was just a complete fail? Well, that's exactly what happened a few days ago when we were in Colorado and the temperature got down to one degree. Our drain hose for our water tank to let air out as we fill the tank froze and created a vacuum and we almost lost everything. Hey guys, I'm Taylor and this is Kevin. If you're new here, welcome to our channel. We've recently explored the East Coast in our self-converted Sprinter van, traveling from Bar Harbor, Maine to Key West, Florida. Now we're headed west and trading the sunshine and crystal clear waters for snow-covered mountains and winter coats. Subscribe and we'll see you every Tuesday. Jake is coming up big, yeah. giving us a spigot. I'm the plug to, to fill, fill the water. water. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Oh, that sounds good. Oh, yeah. So, uh, we were just filling up the tank, and I think our release valve is frozen, and it created a vacuum in the tank, and the pressure expanded the tank really big. And now we have a lot of built up pressure. Luckily, nothing cracked, we don't think. There's uh -huh. no water except for down there. Yeah, just. Uh, on the fill that goes into the pump. Okay, so we were just filling up and the tank completely expanded. And the reason for that is because the drain valve had ice in it, which didn't allow air to escape as we were filling the tank with water. So the pressure expanded the tank, making our 33 gallon now like 33 or 36. <laughs> So Winning. that's one Winning. good thing, but we have a lot of pressure on our bar fittings now and I need to get the heat gun and melt the drain to allow air to escape the tank as we fill it with water. I think that's it. All right. So is that you heating up the ball valve because you think it's frozen? It's not a ball valve, it's just a hose. Yeah. That has, I have like a screen on it to prevent like bugs, which might be the, oh, okay. a bad idea now. Okay, yes, that was a bad idea, putting the screen over the drain hose. Because if we had the tank full and driving uphill, which we were a lot driving into the mountains, then water could escape into the drain valve and drip down onto the screen. And because the temperature was so cold, the water stuck on the screen would eventually freeze, not allowing air to escape the tank as we were filling it with water. So if you were gonna ask the question of would I do it again, the answer would probably be no, especially if we're going in the cold weather because as that screen gets wet, little particles of water get stuck there, I guess, and freeze as you're driving. So it's not a bad, it's not a good idea and I doubt bugs will get up into your water tank anyway. So a precautionary measure that I thought was a good idea wasn't in cold weather. All right, let's get back with the video. And yes, I am in a little bit warmer weather right now editing this video, but it's getting pretty cold. So I'm gonna get back in the van and get back to this. So Jake hooked me up with these wire cap things. I don't know what you would call it. Just like little holds. Holds. So we just flip that upside down and it's running up. But now we're gonna check to see if this is gonna leak. All right, third time's the charm. Man, that could have been so bad. Yeah. It could have been so bad. If our tank cracked, that would have been the end of it. I would have been, you would have had it in the shop, pull it right in there, fix it. We would have been here for a month. <laughs> we would have had to take I would be week. so excited. We could all hang out. Dude, we could, yeah, we could just make content all day. <laughs> Dude, I'm like, it's crazy, man. I can't get over it. So it's good now? Yeah, so now we have the hose coming up top, if you want to come look. So we'll fill it all the way to the top. And we just hope we're not going on a mountain this high. Because <laughs> then that's the only way the water should get up for the time being. But now we're, just, are so smart. we're just checking to see if this is going to leak. And then the bottom one as well. That is so crazy how pressure can just expand the tank like you know. That was probably not, that was probably like maybe six pounds too. You think about it, it wasn't a lot uh, at all. Yeah, no. Yeah. 
Not at all. All right, so thank God the tank did not freeze or crack when it ballooned. Yeah. But uh, Jake, just want to say thank you. You got really it. Appreciate thanks, it, man. Thanks to you guys. We lucked out meeting you and then having coming this here, happen. having to fill here instead of some random place because he has all the tools yeah. right here. So just thanks so much, man. I appreciate you it. You got it. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, anytime. Keep in touch and. Um, Good luck with everything else. Yeah, yeah you Have too. Fun. Thank you so much. Yeah, All right, I'll see you guys. We'll see you. See ya. Good morning guys. We are outside of Aspen and we're going to be snowboarding snowmass today. Checking out the Aspen Village and then making our way to Jackson, Wyoming. The spot that we slept in this morning is beautiful. It's right outside of the town of Aspen and it's right in the valley with the mountains all around you. It's just... It's currently 10 degrees. Beautiful but very, very cold. Yeah, it's 10 degrees. It got down to 4 this, last night. So it's early. We got to get on the mountain though. You ready for the mountain, Chica? Do I look ready for the mountain, Chica? <laughs> <laughs> she better be ready. Snow mass. Here we come. So it's 28 in the water compartment, which means we're going to be. Head. Yeah. <laughs> which means we're going to be going to the hardware store today to insulate our pipes because it's just very cold consistently, and when we get to Wyoming, it's going to be potentially even colder, so we just need to be well prepared. Let's go on the mountain, let's go. We are on the top bowl where it's snowing. Cold. Alright, so I was a little hungry. Got a napkins. Might want to take a bite before that freezes. Oh yeah, I'm excited. It's awesome up here. I love that they have like a little thing at every place. Yeah, every lift almost. Mm. I mean, it's no brothers. We're next. Wanna try it? Mm -hmm. Tastes like Elio's. But it works. I'll have a cracker. That was usually the best, worst slice of pizza I've ever eaten. I guess nothing's better than a beer after the mountain and a slice of pizza after the mountain. Oh yeah. Pizza any time really, but on the mountain is nice. Aspen Beach Vale, or well, this is just Snowmass Village. Uh, I think so. 
Yeah. I feel, feel like they keep getting better and better. I know. It's crazy. But I feel like Aspen's like gonna like be the peak. Yeah. So we just made it to Aspen and just got done skiing Snowmass. Snowmass was awesome. Our favorite mountain yet? For sure, definitely. So now we're in the town of Aspen, gonna go explore some of the shops. Taylor's gonna have a lot of fun. Probably not, I mean these shops are <coughs> out of control. We'll take you, <laughs> we'll show you what it's like, but we think one of the things that we're doing during this trip is trying to find places that we want a vacation to in the future and I think Aspen takes the cake. Definitely. Super cool town. Even if you just stay in Snowmass, the base camp area is so sick. Snowmass Village, that is. <laughs> where a lot to do. Where the biggest mountain is. Yeah, it's huge. Not that crowded and just incredible. And the mountain awesome. itself is so nice. All right. Let's go check it out. After exploring Aspen, it was time to leave the state of Colorado and make our way to Wyoming. Our stop along the way was in Cray, Colorado, where we experienced some crazy winter storm weather. We are in the middle of a blizzard, it seems like. Was not expecting this snow at all. We've only had 50 miles to go and there was no snow. And it is just, nuts. Luckily, thank God we got a guy in front of us who we can see his brake lights and kind of follow along. We have the GPS up here too so we can see the curves in the road, but it is bad out right now. All right, so we just got through the heavy, thick snow. We can finally see again and we can see the mountains around us and we still have our buddy in front of us, thank God. But it was sketchy out there, wasn't it, Taylor? Not super sketchy. We got about 56 miles to go. And how fast are we going? We're going 45 miles an hour. We were going about 35 to 40 earlier when we could barely see. But and this drive was supposed to only take us like two hours. Yeah, it's one of the country roads. It's, I mean, it is paved and stuff. All right, we made it to Cray, Colorado, and we got through that snowstorm. Luckily, Walmart does allow overnight parking here, so this is where we're staying for the night because we're gonna be getting on the road pretty quickly tomorrow morning so we can get to Jackson Hole. Now I'll have to move here because I'm hungry. Time to eat and shower. See ya. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you on Tuesday where we make it to the next state of Wyoming and visit the beautiful town of Jackson and check out the Grand Tetons. Hey. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh your knee hurts? <laughs> oh, you little baby. All right, we officially scored. This view is incredible. I know it's windy, I apologize. But wow, you can finally see the Tetons. Woo!